Hello everyone, welcome back to Dentistry and More. So today we have a continuation of Dental Auxiliaries Part 3. So we have covered non-operating dental auxiliary, operating dental auxiliary. And today's session is degrees of supervision. So it is nothing but how the dentist is supervising the auxiliary. So in 1975, American Dental Association defined four degrees of supervision of auxiliaries as general supervision, direct supervision, indirect and personal supervision. So it is how the dentist is supervising auxiliary in doing the procedures. So I have a diagrammatic uh, representation. So you will have a better idea once you see this uh, and then we'll move on to the content. So I have a diagrammatic representation here, the levels of supervision. The first one is general supervision, then the indirect supervision, direct supervision and personal supervision. So it is how the dentist is supervising the auxiliary while the procedures are being carried out on the patient. So in general supervision, this is a dental clinic where auxiliary is working on the patient under dentist instructions. Okay, so dentist has given proper instructions what has to be carried out. And the thing is, dentist need not to be inside the dental clinic. Dentist might be out somewhere for consultation or dentist is not presently not in the clinic. So that is general supervision. But he has given clear instruction to auxiliary what has to be done. So that is general supervision. So the second one indirect supervision that is dentist is present and auxiliary is uh, taking uh, or uh, doing any procedures on the patient where dentist is uh, might be doing uh, work on any other patient but he has uh, properly instructed what has to be done on the patient and at the end the dentist will check what the procedure was and about the details of procedures so dentist is in the dental clinic and he has authorized what has to be done and at the end before leaving the patient he will recheck it that is indirect supervision dentist might be busy with some other patient but he is in the dental clinic whereas direct supervision is auxiliary is working on the patient at the same time dentist is giving attention to the same patient then auxiliary's work is uh, supervised by dentist simul uh, at the same time so dentist has uh, direct supervision not indirect supervision so dentist is monitoring each procedures and in personal supervision here the dentist is actually working on the patient not the auxiliary auxiliary is helping the dentist okay so dentist is working on the patient auxiliary is helping the dentist so these are the four levels of supervision general indirect direct and personal supervision in general supervision dentist might not be in the clinic and the another thing is personal supervision here the dentist is actually working on the patient so all three other general direct and indirect the auxiliary is working on the patient so everywhere the dentist has given proper instruction these three places the dentist has given proper instruction here dentist might not be in the clinic here the dentist might be busy with some other patients but here dentist is directly monitoring the patient and auxiliaries work here dentist himself or herself doing the work so we have seen uh, in the diagrammatic representation what is general supervision what is indirect what is direct and what is personal supervision so i have clearly explained you about the scenario so the first one general supervision here the dentist is authorizing the procedures and they are being carried out in accordance with the diagnosis and treatment plan which is completed by dentist so dentist has exactly given instruction what has to be done and he has himself diagnosed the condition and authorized the procedures to the dental auxiliary and the main point is dentist is not required to be in the dental office in that picture i have shown 
when the procedures are being performed but he has personally diagnosed personally authorized the procedures and will evaluate the performance so that is general supervision the only level of supervision where the dentist might be outside the dental clinic where he has gone for a consultation or any other personal purpose so second one is interact supervision so in interact supervision the same thing the procedures are uh, done uh, by exactly what the dentist is saying and according to the dentist diagnosis and his personal instruction but here the dentist will be in the dental office and he will be remain while the procedures are being performed but the thing is he might not be personally or directly looking into this procedures while it is being carried out so that is a difference that is interact he has given proper instruction and he remains in the dental clinic but he is not directly or personally looking, looking into it but at the end of the procedure he will evaluate the performance in direct supervision the dentist in the dental office personally diagnoses the condition personally authorizes and all before dismissal of patient and evaluate the performance so direct supervision sorry is like uh, the dentist is seeing the procedure being carried out he personally monitoring the uh, procedures while the auxiliary is performing on the uh, patient he is there uh, beside the dentist beside the patient or he personally uh, or directly not personally directly supervising it so that is the difference between interact and direct interact is in the dental clinic but is not uh, directly supervising it uh, at the end of the procedure he will look into it the performance of and evaluate of the dental personnel direct supervision is directly along uh, with the dental auxiliary is checking the uh, auxiliary's uh, work on the patient whether it is following what he has told him to personal supervision is here the dentist is actually working on the patient not the auxiliary the rest three were like indirect direct and general supervision auxiliary is working on the patient but in personal supervision here the dentist is working on the patient and auxiliary is helping the dentist so these are the four levels four levels of supervision first one is general supervision indirect supervision direct and personal supervision it might come as a short note so in general supervision dentist might be outside the dental clinic and in personal supervision the dentist is working on the patient not the auxiliary so i'll come up with a new session on dentist and more thank you